So I really wanted to title this video Life Effing Sucks Right Now, but I don't want to get shadow banned by YouTube, so I'm gonna go with we're stopping our debt payoff. Yeah, this, I, I hate what's going on in the world. It's, it's been six months of up and down and up and down and not making headway. And we thought we had it figured out and we don't. So today I'm just going to update you with, I don't know. I, I, I wish I had cleaned that dresser. Oh, well. We have, I, I can't even tell you exactly how much, maybe $130,000 left in our debt payoff. We paid over $250,000 off. And we did that in right around four years. And the beginning of this year, we had a goal of paying everything off by the time Mauricio started school full-time next year. And, you know, we had plans to buy my parents' house and I none of this looks like it's going to pan out the way that we had planned it. Because, you know, I don't know about you, but whenever I make a plan, God kind of goes, huh. You think that's your plan. And my life turns in 360 different degrees. And that is what's going on right now. As you all know, everybody's going through it. School is a thing. And our school had originally said they were going to go two days a week and home three days a week. Two, two of those three days would be online and then one day would be, you know, just empty. So we were looking at private schools and we had narrowed it down and we have our first choice and then we had our two other choices. And then our backup plan B was that Melina was going to go to public school two days a week and we were going to hire a nanny. So our first choice school last week, we found out we were waitlisted just because of where we fell in the process. So we still have one step in that process left and we'll find out if we're officially waitlisted or, you know, denied admission. I can't imagine we'd be denied admission for any reason, but so I'm going to assume we're going to be on the waitlist for that, which is heartbreaking for me. Melina loved the school and would have done so incredibly well there. And they were going five days a week and they had the most amazing online program. So even if everything shut down, it wouldn't, it wouldn't be a horrible thing, but I don't think that's going to be a possibility. So our plan B was the other private schools and then potentially Fairfax County as another cost saving option, because as I've said before, with all of our situations, cost matters. Cost is a factor. So then a couple of weeks ago, I know you probably saw on Instagram, Fairfax County, where we live, decided that they're going to go to full-time online learning. And Mauricio and I work full-time and we don't have the luxury of homeschooling. We just don't. It would involve us hiring a nanny who can homeschool. And that is an option but it's a very expensive option. That would be, you know, $4,000 a month for a nanny full-time in this area. And we just, we can't. And so two of the other schools that we were pending also announced that they were going to be going part-time rather than the full-time like they had initially planned when we applied. And so yesterday I did the math on the three different schools that we had planned on and it came out to almost four thousand dollars a month with the part-time schools and a nanny so why would i even send her to school at that point why would i send her to private school when i'm gonna have to hire a nanny anyway it's gonna cost me almost the same thing it's just like two hundred dollars cheaper oh. so Basically, we looked and we are revisiting one of the options. One of the options is a significantly more expensive private school. It will get her in school five days a week. It is a great school. 
And so we're in the process of that. The cost to us will be about a thousand dollars cheaper than hiring a full-time nanny, but it will force us to pause our debt snowball. And that makes me want to throw up. We were on track even now to still have almost everything paid off by next summer. We would have still had Mauricio's school loan, but we could have made a dent in that before he started graduate school, his, his, going to architecture school full time. But we're not going to be able to do it. And we are so incredibly frustrated with our county right now that we have actually been and we loved this private school so incredibly much that we've actually been talking about moving. Like the whole reason we wanted to buy my parents' house is to live here and go to the schools in this pyramid. But if the county is gonna continue down this road, why would I stay? I might as well find a nice Christian school that's aligned with my morals and my beliefs and send my child there. I never in a million years thought that this was gonna be an option, never. And it's looking more and more like an option every day. So I don't know what our future holds for us at all right now, I really don't. And I am absolutely incredibly heartbroken that this is what it's come to. So I will continue to do our, our updates. You know, I've, I've got this side business that's running and I have been using the profit from that to put towards that. But since this whole thing started, I'm not really making much in the way of profit. You know, YouTube is tanked. My views, I mean, you can see it. I used to have thousands of views and now I barely get like 900. Nobody wants to, to watch and think about money right now. I totally get it but it's all I can think about right now. So anyway, I just wanted to pop on here and let you know where my head is right now. Next week will be better. Next week will be more, I don't know, perky. <laughs> Back to my old self. So, okay, I'm calmer now. So I'm going to insert this into the middle because I don't think I think I was so upset that I didn't really adequately explain myself. So because we are now going with a more expensive option, we are looking at tuition payments and everything included in that as close to $3,000 a month. And that's the money that we used to pay our, our debt payoff. That we were typically putting three to five thousand dollars a month some months we're going to be able to put a little extra but some months we're not august we are so definitely not because we're going to have all the registration fees and you know we've got a little bit of nanny care that we need because there's a time gap between when school starts and when camp is over and so as a result, we're looking at a full 10 months without paying off or making any strides towards paying off our debt. So I'll see you in the next one.